Hi everyone. Assalamualaikum. In this lecture notes, uh, I'm going to cover on how to represent knowledge into a few uh, representation. So at the end of this lecture, I hope students know what is rule production, semantic network, OAV, and frames representation. Students also uh, will know how to translate suitable knowledge into these representations as well as critically think the advantages and disadvantages of each type of representation. So we know there are a few uh, representation techniques. And this lecture notes, I'm going to cover on production rules, semantic network, object attributes values, and frames. So what are rules? Production rules is a set of condition uh, whereby the condition must have a value whether it's true or false and this condition and the value will trigger an action so we have if condition then what action need to be taken so there are several uh, things that need to be done or need to be uh, carried out okay during reading all these rules that is you need to match if the rule conditions uh, uh, is true or false uh, and then we need to resolve if there is a conflict set a com uh, set of rules that is conflicting so we need to resolve the problems and then after that uh, we need to triggers or fires the correct rules so that the action that associated with the rules can be carried out okay so Example of production rules is simple. Uh, for example, if it is raining, then we get an umbrella. Okay. If at bus stop and the bus has arrived, and then we get on the bus. Okay. This is a very normal types of re representation, and we use it daily. It's just that probably we don't really uh, think and we don't realize that we are doing it. Okay, another example, okay, if you have an expert, you have, uh, you carry out an interview with an expert. Okay, this expert is from a uh, Malaysian paper board. Uh, we need to have uh, symptoms of insect uh, that attack plants. So, they give us this uh, example. So, from here, we translate that into if-then rules. So, uh, we have this if buku dan dahan berlubang and kekuningan, then dahan akan pukul. So, we can change this into jika maka. Okay. Jika buku dan dahan berlubang. Okay. Dan kekuningan, maka dahan akan gugur. So, we can actually combine the condition with N or or. Right? So, that's the second one. Jika bahagian atas diserang, then serangan masih di peringkat awal. The third rules, jika serangan serius, that maka pokok akan mati. So, from these rules, okay, we can check the condition of the tree. Okay, and if all the condition is uh, true, okay, uh, the, the value of the condition are true, then we can trigger the system or alert the um, um, Malaysian paper board that this plant has been attacked by black paper um, by the paper weevil. All right. Okay. So that is rules. Okay. And I have this exercise for you to try by your own. Um, and then you can come back to the second lecture notes about semantic network. Thank you.